Would you like to edit your photos in Affinity Photo non-destructively so that you can change your mind later on? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use layers and layer masks in Affinity Photo for exactly that purpose. Let's head over into Affinity and, uh, and get started. So I've got an image of a church here in Derbyshire. This is uh, near Monseldale Head. And what I want to do with it is I want to change the sky on there and put an overall tint to, uh, uh, to the image. So how am I going to do this? Well, I am going to uh, want to do multiple adjustment layers on there. The way I'm going to do it is create my first adjustment layer and it's going to be a curves adjustment layer. And I want to concentrate on the sky. I'm looking at the sky on here, trying to get the, uh, the effect that I want. Just trying to make it look a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, that's what we want along there. So there, that's my, my sky, but oh dear, look what it's done to the rest of the image we need to make sure that applies only to the sky. So I'm going to get going to close this window. Now, uh, the first thing to say about adjustment layers in Affinity is the, there's a mask built into it. So if I get my paintbrush here and I make sure it's set to black, there, that will allow me to bring back what's underneath as I just sort of paint on there like that. You can see the, the church coming through. So the effect of the, uh, the adjustment layer is only uh, in the white area. So the white reveals the adjustment, the black conceals it. Now, I know I'm going to need to do two adjustment layers on here. So I'm going to control Z out of that because I don't want to do the adjustment directly on the adjustment layer. I want to put that in a group. So I'm going to click the folders uh, there, just expand that, make sure I'm clicked on the folder itself and apply adjust, an adjustment layer to that. So now this adjustment layer uh, um, relates to anything that's in the curves adjustment. So let me now start painting this on here. And I'm not going to be over fussed about how I do this. Control and wheel to um, move in and space and mouse to move this around and make my brush a lot smaller. And I'm not going to try and keep right to the edges on there. I just want to do this approximately so you can see what's going on. And you can see here, I've gone over the edges there, uh, which I wasn't intending to do, but I'll show you how we correct that. And those edges on there, if I switch my brush, I'm currently on black, switch it to white, which I can do by either clicking on the white there or hitting the X key. I can now with a smaller brush, I can paint those out to correct those bits where I've gone over the edge. Square bracket to change the size of my brush, X to go back to it being white, and I'm just going to do an approximate painting on here. Uh, control zero puts the whole image on there. Have I missed any bits? Easy to find out. If I hold the Alt key and click on the mask, we can see the, uh, the whole area um, where, it, where it is. And I can now see, oh, I've missed bits down here. So I can just start filling those in on this section. And I have got my, my mask in place. So that'll do for what I want. And as I say, if I wanted to spend a bit more time on this, I could be a bit more precise and click onto the background just to, uh, to come out of there. Because this is now non-destructive, if I wanted to, I can go back into this curves layer and I could adjust my, my sky. You can see it's only affecting the sky. I'd like some color in that. So what I'm going to do is because I'm in the group, 
I can apply another adjustment layer uh, on here. And this one is going to be a white balance. I'm just going to warm up the sky and notice it only applies to the sky. We've got a lovely sort of sunsetty type sky in there, but it could do with a little bit of adjustment to the rest of the image. So now I'm going to apply an adjustment layer to the whole image. How do I do that? I make sure I'm outside the, uh, the group. So if I click on the background and I go to adjustment layer, so now I'm going to do a split toning on here. And the, one of the tricks with split toning is bring your saturations up right at the start, because you can see what you're doing then. Um, and I want it to be a nice orangey tone to affect my highlights, maybe a little bit in the shadows as well. Now I've got that, I can bring down this saturation and make it a little bit more natural for what I want and I can use the balance to move between the two different um, saturations on there. So I think that's the sort of balance I want. So what have we looked at here? Well, we've, uh, we've looked at two different types of, uh, of masking. First of all, on an adjustment layer, you just select the adjustment layer and then you can just paint a mask directly on there. And we have looked at applying a mask to a group by having our layers within the group, we can apply a mask directly to that so that anything that's within there is uh, suitably masked. And that is how you do non-destructing editing using adjustment layers and most importantly with masks. If you want to uh, find out more about Affinity, have a look at the playlist that's on the screen now. Thanks. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep making great photos. Bye for now.